Greetings and salutations, one and all. I'm Andrew. And I'm Kelly. And we are the Video Game Fashion Police. We're going to take a look at a video game character's outfit, accessories, and overall fashion sense... And judge them. Few outfits in video games are quite as iconic as Link's green tunic from The Legend of Zelda. The problem is, is his green tunic is fairly different in every game, so if we were to critique Link's fashion sense in that regard, which game would we go for? Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, Skyward Sword? Then I thought, well, most of the modern games have a starting outfit. The Wind Waker has Link's blue pajamas, the Skyward Sword has whatever that thing is, the new Legend of Zelda has a blue shirt and a hood. Which brings us to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. <laughs> Kelly, what <laughs> yeah. the hell is that thing? I like to call Link a man without a country because he seems to be fashioning himself with all of them at once. Um, starting at the feet... He has on sandals, which are fine, but they're adorned with feathers, a la the Native Americans. And then you move up, and he has harem pants, which is, you know, excellent. However, they are making a comeback, oddly enough. In the 1900s, they were used as bloomers, and then, of course, MC Hammer brought them back in the 80s, and now they're making a bohemian uh, comeback, if you will. You move even up more, and he has on a mundu, or a sari, a male Indian, not Native American Indian, Indian garment, uh, which is that blue little thing. And then if you move up even more, he has on a fake makeshift obi. So he's all over the place. A Japanese obi, and an Indian mundu, and harem pants, and Native American sneakers, and... um. Yeah, and they're all cotton because it's the fabric of our lives, not sponsored. Quite the worldly ensemble for a humble farmhand in the farming village of Ordon, in the land of Hyrule, where I don't think Japan or India or any other of these places actually exist. No, but maybe he, maybe he's one of those people who likes to travel and bring something with him and from from everywhere that that he goes he says yes i enjoy this here obi i will now i mean i'd hate to see where he started he was just in like little shorts in a t-shirt or something he know. was naked and the village elders sent link out into the world and said link find your clothes find yourself start with pants <laughs> yes. And, and apparently hair and pants were what he went with. He's like, well, these are nice and breezy. But Link, yes. you're so, back. Welcome back. I see you've got some pants. Where were you? A harem. Why did you come back? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Normally you don't need pants in a harem. I don't know. But yet he's really well color coordinated. I must say I'm, I'm very... He... They must be handmade. Like, they are way too perfectly matchy-matchy, but in a good way, matchy-matchy. Not like DTM with your shoes and your purse, because that's, that's awful. Never do that. DTM means died to match, all of you video game gentlemen out there who don't know. <laughs> Figure it as much. You know, it's interesting. So horrified have I been by the outfit in general, I failed to actually appreciate its color scheme, which I agree, it it does flow. It's perhaps a bit um, muted. It's it's certainly Perfect not the work. most it, it's certainly not the most uh, gregarious and outgoing, but then again he works on a farm shoveling whatever these blue things poop. Well and you know that you don't know what these blue things truly are. Maybe they're scared like um, like a matador has the red like, maybe this mute is actually pretty good. Maybe it's keeping his little, you know, oxen dudes calm. They're like, ah, yes, sage green. 
Link wore bright colors only once. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh God, they're all charging! Run! <laughs> what the hell is wrong with these cow creatures? You're wearing red, moron! You grew up here! How do you not know that? You only make that mistake once. You get the, you know, bright orange bloomers. <laughs> Never again. And you have to but, wonder um, if the bright colors enrage these blue oxen cow creatures. Or does it make them really horny? <laughs> oh god, they're trying to mate with me! I will say, he has the greatest hair. Link knows where it's at. He's got that boy band, uh, Justin Bieber, whom I don't like, for the record, but, like, that side-swept, like, you know, this whole, I'm too cool for school, like, he is a boy bander. If he's not making the blue antelope guys chase him, the females definitely are. Yes, Link does appear to be very popular with the ladies. My biggest question about Link is why the arm brace? That, why is that he green thing on his left shoulder? Maybe. Maybe it's a type of compression sleeve to alleviate the aches and pains he gets from shoveling blue ox cow poop. They probably have massive shits. So yes, compression sleeve, OB, Moondoo, harem pants, Native American shoes. Wow, he's, he's that perfect specimen of so PC, he's actually probably insulting everybody. <laughs> He's, he's like, I just want everyone to feel comfortable around me, and yet now no one feels comfortable around you. So we enjoy the color scheme. I very much enjoy the color scheme. We enjoy his boy bandish looks. But as an outfit, crime against fashion? Oh, yes, that is a crime against fashion. Like... I've said we like to mix our looks, and I've said layering, layering is very good, but this boy probably has a very severe case of swamp ass because all of his layering is just right there. Can you imagine, like, there's some sweat going on. It's probably not good. So, yes, he's um, unnecessarily, uh, try he's trying too hard, and yet, maybe not even hard enough. It was this crime against fashion that prompted the village elders to send Link away. To, oh, save Zelda. Save Hyrule. Yeah, just leave. He thinks he's like, I got this little elfish, you know, deviantness. Like, from here up, he's like, I got it going on. Maybe he just doesn't own a full-length mirror. Link, we've, we've got this uh, green tunic outfit for you. Um, oh, no, no, what, what, what you're wearing is fine, but this is the, um, help me out here. It's the hero of time garb. It's traditional. This is what you should wear. Oh, you, you look great in it. I'm just gonna burn these. In the tradition of, you know, Peter Pan and Robin Hood, a la the Disney version, please wear this green jumpsuit. Is simply burning the outfit enough? No. We have to nuke Hyrule from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Now far be it for the video game fashion police to end on such a nihilistic note. Kelly, what boy band should Link collaborate with? I think he would fit right in with One Direction. And so ends another episode of Video Game Fashion Police. We do hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, I'm Andrew. And I'm Kelly. And from us to you. Stop dressing like an asshole.